So I was curious if gold is magnetic or if it interacts with magnets in any way. So I bought some gold leaf for about $11. So out of the pack you see here, I got 30 sheets of this gold leaf for about $11, and it's about as big as a quarter. These are 24 karat gold. They are supposedly uh, pure gold. Gold is interesting in that it can be flattened into very thin sheets, just a few atoms thick. That's why Rutherford used gold foil in his experiments when he was studying the structure of the atom and ended up finding the nucleus. So the gold leaf is really fragile. Here's a piece of it, and when I blow on it, you can see it just kind of floats away. So that made it a little challenging to test whether it was magnetic. So here we have our gold leaf, and I'm going to put the magnet next to it. I put a bunch of paper clips and other things around it just so we can see how the magnet attracts things. This is a very strong rare earth neodymium magnet. And you can see the gold foil remains unaffected. Another problem is, well, the gold foil is not attracted to a magnet. It is attracted to static electricity. That has an effect on it. And you can see here these styrofoam balls. They're attracted to this pen that I rub over my hair to build up a static charge. The gold leaf itself is attracted to the plastic pen as well due to that static charge. So touching the magnet to it, I have to make sure there's no static charge on my hands or the magnet. And we can see that really there isn't any attraction from the magnet and that gold, it's not a magnetic substance. It does not respond to magnets. So that's it. You can find gold foil fairly inexpensively, but it's very thin, very fragile, and it's not attracted to magnets. Thanks for watching.